Dying Eyes, another classic by the Eagles. And would you believe a great strumming training ground for ukulele and guitar players alike. Some of you are going to say, Well, Greg, we already know how to play that one, and I'm not sure what you're going to be able to teach us here. Who, uh, who speaks like that? Anyway, they told me to use that accent. Now, I can uh, guess, perhaps, the way you play it. I want you to put your hands up now, uh, whoever plays it like this. I believe this is called the Island Strum. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Now, of course, that's okay, except that you won't make it through round one of the Eagles' next auditions for a ukulele player. So, can we bring you up at least to semi-professional standard? Let's give it a go. So let's start with a little light theory so that you actually understand what you're listening to when you're listening to the beat. So here we go. So we have four beats in the bar. Now that's known as 4-4 four, four time or common time uh, in uh, music terms. So I'm going to now run it again and call that slightly differently. So what's that? Well, on beats 1 and 3 in each bar, the drummer is playing his kick drum. That's the one he plays with his foot and it comes out as a thump. And on beats two and four, he's playing the snare drum. Now, in this case, he's playing the edge of the snare drum so it comes out as a click. So uh, it is sort of a thump, click, thump, click, thump, click. Now, let's play it again and call it a different way. Dum da 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 dum da. Now, what's that? That's the low G strumming language. Dum is a thumb pick and da is a downstroke. So, if nothing else, I need to be playing a dum on beats one and three, and I need to be playing a da on beats two and four to correspond with the kick drum and the snare drum. Next thing I want you to do is listen to the hi-hat. That's the drummer's hi-hat which goes The drummer is playing eight hits on his hi-hat in the bar. He's playing on the uh, main beats one two three four and he's playing on the half beats in between so he's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so where does that leave us well we know that on the drums we have thump cha and and on the ukulele, we have dum, da, and d. And if we uh, translate or um, transfer Don Henley's uh, drumming uh, rhythm, let's say, directly to the ukulele, we're going to just play dum dee da dee 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 dum dee da dee. Now, that in its own right is a little bit monotonous, but it does follow the drum beat. Now, even a simple thing like even leaving out one of the D's in uh, the uh, in in the in the pattern uh, changes the complexion. Listen to this: dum da di dum di da di dum da di dum di da di dum da di dum di da di dum da di dum di da di. I'm not putting a D into the and after one. I'm just going one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. And that changes it uh, 
uh, breaking it up a little bit, making it a bit more interesting. And the next thing that needs to come into play in everybody's playing style, no matter what your pattern is, the formula is correct, you must put feel into it. And feel is about dynamics, thanks to Stanley in California, hard and soft strokes. So let me add that into the mix. see what I'm doing there I'm actually replacing the da on um, on two and four with a ch so it's it's sort of a, a downstroke with a choke now there is an explanation in take it easy the uh, lesson uh, on take it easy because I put the same technique into take it easy and there is a, a 30 to 40 second piece that uh, demonstrates demonstrates how you achieve that effect now I would be interested to hear from you what you think of the principles that I have presented in this video. It is the process that I follow and if you can't do that intuitively, well then you need some basis to uh, work from. So as usual I have um, some material up there on patreon.com slash channel. Don't for forget to press like on YouTube if you'd recommend this video to others. And I'm sure we'll see each other again soon.